So Hervé is setting up for his uh, concrete mixer um, because it's a bit uh, closer to the house so we can uh, put some pipe, well, some hoses and, uh, and water, uh, electricity yeah. and everything. And then he will uh, carry the cement down the bottom terrace. Because uh, what are the jobs that he's doing? So um, first job he's doing is um, is uh, repair the wall that fell off with the and put the metallic rod in it to hold it. I'll uh, I'll uh, link to the video. Um, <laughs> And then, then he's going to build the base for uh, hopefully the two greenhouses. Fantastic. Which is going to be really exciting. This morning we have uh, been laying this, uh, this first uh, layer of stones. Hervé made a big uh, concrete reinforcement below the ground level to prevent the, the wall from collapsing. And uh, now uh, he's uh, starting to rebuild. So these, uh, these stones are really heavy, so we, he needed a bit of help to, to lift them and uh, and position them on the wall and now uh, he's going to put some uh, a drainage layer on the, at the back of the wall that we will cover with some soil and after that uh, he needs to flatten the, this uh, first layer and uh, start uh, raising well rebuilding the wall as it used to be I noticed in the in the pile of stones, a carved stone that was probably a part of an old uh, window or, uh, or a doorway. And so this one I'm uh, going to keep on the side for another work we'll have to do at some point. Because uh, uh, it has uh, three very, uh, very nice sides, so uh, it would be a pity to put it in a wall. There was also uh, blocks of, co of old concrete that had just been dumped here and we put them at the back of the wall because they will be uh, buried anyway but it makes a good uh, drainage layer so the water will uh, flow between the big blocks and as it's right in the corner uh, we're never going to grow anything there or need to, need to drive so it's, uh, it's really not a problem having, uh, having that here. One thing we need to be wary of uh, while rebuilding the wall is that this uh, part has very um, arranged uh, beds of stone of always the, more or less the same size and so in order uh, for it to look like it's, uh, it's always been there we need to make sure we take stones of the same size and uh, lay them flat as we rebuild the wall. So we, the most uh, challenging we had so far was to do lay this, uh, this, uh, lay this uh, row of stones because some of them are uh, over 200 kilograms so they are quite difficult to move. Um, now it will be easier because the, the stones are smaller but we still have quite a big long one we need to lay. Uh, so that's what we are going to do now.
alter the stones for Hervé a little bit to see what's left because we have to keep the, the round ones for the top of the, of the wall and he needs a few more little stones to adjust the, the height of what's underneath. Hervé's been doing a really nice job and he's nearly finished the, most of the wall. The last, um, the last layer we need to, um, to put is the round stones uh, to make the, the wall look like the, the rest of the walls of the, of the garden. Uh, and it's a very tra locally uh, traditional way of building walls where you put the big uh, round stones at the top so the rain falls on either side of the, the wall and doesn't erode in the middle. So the, the weight of the round stone um, the, well, stabilizes the, the, whole, uh, the whole wall and the, the, most of the water doesn't penetrate inside but rather uh, flows on either side. So we, that's what we want to achieve. So we have to be careful while building the wall not to use the round, the, the round stones that are uh, meant to be at the top. Hervé is reaching the top of the wall and now he needs my help to lift the big round stones at the top with the digger. So uh, it's really a, a two-person job so I'm going to help him a bit with that. So we've started putting a few big stones at the bottom um, and we have to use the smaller ones towards the, the top. So I'm uh, just looking which ones, uh, which ones we have and what we're going to use.
So we finished laying the stones at the top of the, the wall. It's, uh, we made it quite irregular so that it matches the rest of the wall. Otherwise it would look a bit weird if it was uh, perfectly round and uh, in a different style. Uh, so the Hervé is going to brush the rest of the joints so that we can't see that, uh, that, we, it's, uh, that he used cement. And uh, then after uh, once uh, it rains and the moss starts growing back, uh, we won't notice the difference with the rest of the wall. Wow! It's the first time I've seen it. That's amazing. It doesn't even look like it's been redone. Gosh, he's got some skill, Hervé, doesn't he? Yeah, he's really good. <gasps> wow, I love this little path getting down there as well. <laughs> oh, that's great. So yeah, this, will, uh, this won't show too much. What we'll do is put some, uh, probably a bit of uh, soil in the holes. Yeah, and, uh, and, and let plants, weeds uh, grow in it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. And then I need to, to uh, I still need to collect the the stones and the um, and sieve the soil at the back. Beautiful, yep. beautiful wall. You happy with that? Very happy, and it'll stay uh, it will, stay upright. Hopefully it will keep now. Keep the deer out. Yeah, stop the deer eating our vegetables. Not the turkey though. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs>